Hey guys, GC here, playing 7 Days to Die, Alpha 17.2. It is now day 77, and as you can see, it is a horde night. So we're going to test, you know, the site that we have been preparing uh, at the hospital in Deersville. So, um, uh, in order to see if it is, uh, you know, strong enough, uh, in order to uh, sustain the attack of a 64 zombie horde and you know survive and um, well as you can see we still have like a half an hour until morning and let me show you I got all of these wet concrete blocks because I decided that we're going to seal off the elevator shaft in the hospital and I also made a land claim block because looking at the map uh, you can see that uh, the land claim block that was at the hospital has uh, degraded, is no longer, you know, visible. So, um, you see, it's no longer here. So, we are going to have to, uh, I don't know if you can repair, I don't think you can repair the one you have. So, I'm just going to have to go and replace it. And, um, what else? Uh, well, I'm making a lot of Molotov cocktails, as you can see. Uh, and actually we're going to make like a, a, a little experiment, you know, uh, because I understand that when you are using the gyrocopter you can d drop d a, a malt of cocktails, and uh, so we'll see if that works. Um, also, you, we might as well take one gas barrel and transform this into gas cans, you know. Oh, it's, uh, it's daytime. Uh, I left a, a good supply of, um, of you know, fuel back at the at the hospital uh, site, but still, you know, you can never be too too careful. Okay, so over here, um, we're gonna take like a steak and potato meal, and for now, we also going to take like you're gonna eat one of this. Yeah, that's good and possibly one can of sham we're full with the red tea that's good scrap this and uh, we got the concrete mix we got this ammo i'm gonna top off the ammo for this good the other ammo is all in the turrets over there okay so i guess i guess we're good we're just we're just gonna go ahead and oh it would be maybe a good idea to maybe you know bring some of these first aid kits we're gonna have those over there and just max that out okay I guess I guess we're good uh, okay so uh, Mike uh, uh, you, you were checking out the the hospital side is it ready for battle yeah, T okay uh, uh, how about the the new turrets that we we were installing are they operational this is star star see up awesome awesome okay so this uh, we're, we're good yeah we're gonna go we're, ju we're just gonna go oh I, I I might as well you know go in this direction so so I can show you the top of the the tower of the main facility of the zombie research initiative I added some equipment and um, it's, it's looking real nice I need to craft more equipment but I've been busy you know I've been digging long and hard the tunnel is now here you see we are basically we started digging over here right over there you know I've dug all this way and in order to get to dark science facility we need to uh, dig all of this way which if you ask me is about the same as I dug possibly a little a little less and then we head north and that's going to be the first long you know underground uh, tunnel uh, that that we're going to use as, a, as an underground highway in order to communicate with the dark science facility and um, uh, as i said in this uh, in this episode our primary objective is to test the effectiveness of the design uh, that you saw in the last episode uh, you know at the former site of the ramp of which is now something new it's like a you know a spiral ramp okay let's just go over here i also finished this you see it looks real nice we gotta keep uh, expanding in that direction so we can link up with the other uh, tunnels that come 
you know, from the, the area that's next uh, to the workshop, you know, where the, the Tokamak reactor is and the, the other facilities that we are going to, we're going to implement. So, for now we're just going up. Oh, I'm getting 2 XP every time I craft uh, one of those, uh, you know, Molotov cocktails. Uh, so, oh, crap. Gotta be careful. I don't want to goof it up. It's all the same, since you know you are most certainly going to goof it up anyway, because no matter how carefully you plan it, you always find a way to screw up, you clumsy monster. But shut up, Gladys! The plan is going to work, you know? I know there's a lot of unbelievers that say that my, you know, design sucks. We'll show them. We'll show them. Because, you know, the, the zombies, the, the, the main theory that we want to test here is if the the area of detection of the zombies uh, can be manipulated to our advantage in order to you know uh, funnel the zombies into a controlled kill box that we implemented in the at the top of the hospital this is a long ass tower you know really really long and uh, well over here one of these hills uh, Mike has been doing some uh, terrain surveys in order to determine what is the best location for the chaos engine which is going to be you know is going to stabilize uh, this whole region uh, you know dimensionally speaking because uh, I've encountered some uh, some new like POIs that appeared you know everything is kind of in flux um, uh, I don't think we have time in this episode to visit those but uh, we'll see those in, in, in future episodes. Okay, here we are. Let me just open this. Okay, there we go. As you can see, I started adding the equipment here. We're going to add some uh, screens, like over here, here. It's, uh, it's going to look real nice. And uh, open. And also, well, you see over here we got the communications network uh, uh, set up. This tower communicates with the tower at the hospital, and well, we're gonna have to install different, you know, towers uh, in different areas of Naviscan. But for now, we need to secure the, you know, the hospital. Okay, since we're here, let's just quickly go down so we can. You know, see if the trader. I don't remember when was the last time. Oh crap! Oh crap! The last time I visited this trader, I think it was yesterday. I'm a little bit confused. We're gonna we're gonna go down. We're gonna try not to goof it up. Ugh. Okay, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. We're not gonna crash like. Yeah. That. Come on, come on, come on. You see? Look at this, look at this! And... Oh, nice. You see, that was not a, a rather... Oh, what? Easy, easy. Hey, come back. That was not a very bad landing. You know, no damage sustained. Oh. You know, nice flag. I didn't really notice. Close. We don't want any undesirable zombies showing up. Let's see if there is anything of interest that this guy has. You're a sight for sore eyes. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Okay, what is it that you have? Uh, air filter landmine. No, we're not gonna mess with landmines. We got a shotgun turret here. Uh, you know, it might be a good idea to like buy a couple of this, but I don't know. Um. Magazines, speakers, you know, these are pretty cheap. I'm gonna buy a couple. Uh, laser sight, no, over here. Uh, a can of sham, no. Shopping carts. Yeah, I was here because I saw one of these candy cane clubs, you know. Um, facial piercings, no, we're not gonna use that. Okay. Gratitude and safe travels, friend. Thank you, bro. Thank you. M much, much appreciated. Okay, let's just go on. And close this. 
and you know we're just gonna use the motorcycle for this occasion because this thing is really fast of course if I ever get to a place where I can place it thank you okay now we're gonna go and we're going to uh, you know prepare for battle and if you remember from the last video I showed you the inside of the hospital how I reinforced several floors uh, floors uh, six and seven are, are closed off uh, to exit from the zombies uh, I don't think there's a zombie spawning since the um, the land claim block you know degrade, degraded we might be able to uh, ascertain for sure if there is uh, still a zombie spawning in those floor and uh, we're going to install the new land claim block and um, then we're going to as I said sealed off the the elevator shaft and right now we are approaching the area where I am currently with the dig you know the tunnel right there that's as far as I've come uh, digging and uh, you can see it's a long way and um, it's gonna take a while for me to be able to traverse the tunnel in a mini bike or something like that because I'm still you know doing the primary dig which is only one block wide but you know that's that's how the tunnels uh, always begin you start short you expand them you know oh, what the crap and then you get the big ass tunnel network but it's okay everything good here interestingly oh crap I crash into a the dirt thing uh, stupid trash middle of the road you know very rude for the people that left that over there okay we are just getting now to the side of the battle as I said this will be a test of the new zombie AI to see how smart they are in order to pick up uh, in order to pick the best you know the pe best path uh, to attack us because you know in one hand we have an easily accessible ramp on the other we have the big ass hospital that cannot be destroyed without you know a lot of effort so let me just see over here everything looks good okay that's the house under construction you know Wilson spawns inside and here we are the side of the battle just start here okay uh, pick this up and put it right there okay so uh, if you remember I said that I was going to make this double so the first everything here you can see the first two uh, sections of the ramp are double wide so the zombies can go and come here without you know uh, starting to think there is no path and started you know messing up the place this section is always is also two blocks wide and this section is only one block wide I made all of this reinforced steel you see because uh, the zombies tend to destroy when they can't get over here we get four turrets two shotgun turrets and two auto turrets and we got one over there which is the anti-Wilson thing uh, anti-Walter sorry and also we got this ramp that allows me to get over here and you know shoot the zombies or throw the Molotov cocktails because if I throw Molotov cocktail from here I'm just gonna light myself on fire and oh that's why it's so shiny because I had the thing in my hand okay let's just go and explore a little bit because uh, as I told you this thing over here should be you know completely isolated I don't see any zombies okay this looks good this is what we're going to you know complete the block everything looks good here Okay. Yeah, we're okay. Let's go to the to the floor above this one. You can enter it 
Uh, okay, we need to drop down, actually. I know some zombies like to spawn around here, but that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's jump. Okay, good. I place a lot of torches all over the place so we can see what's going on here. Okay, nothing. I also blocked the elevator shaft here. There's just a lot of blocks inside. There's no way to go up. This is just one big structural, uh, you know, element. Uh, as well as this, I blocked everything here. Yeah, no, no one's going to spawn here. So, I can wait for days, some days for the loot to respawn. I'm also using now a hammer because it's much faster, you know, than the stupid nail gun. Okay, this is good. Uh, I'm just gonna take the opportunity to reinforce this just in case. All of this, you know. This, 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 and that. Come on, and this one. Good. We're good. Okay, let's see if we can see anything else. Like over here and jump. Oh, come on, grab it. Okay, good. So, you see this thing is inactive. Can I do anything? No, I'm just gonna destroy it. Okay, that was a lot of, you know, bananas thing. Put this. Yeah, the lamb claim block. Okay, uh, Gladys, uh, how was the you know that that project we were working on to to make uh, the field that the lamb claim block uh, uh, you know produces visible? Mike finished installing the holographic emitters, so it is fully operational. You can activate it from the land claim block. Oh, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we go over here and we activate this. And there it is, you can see, we got a holographic projection that allows you to see the boundaries of the protection of the land claim block. You see, nothing is going to spawn inside of these boundaries. You see, it's over there, so at least like three floors down, we're good. Three, maybe four blocks down. Everything is nice, okay. I'm just gonna disengage this thing. There we go. Okay, so it is uh, like a quarter to ten. We still got the time. Everything looks good here. The blade traps. Okay, it's good. We're gonna go down. And as you can see in the date, the, the 77 has turned red because this is a Horde Knight. So that's how you signal now the Horde Knights. Okay, everything looks good here. I think the last time I effectively killed all of the zombies that were around. Don't know if anyone is spawning. I don't think so. Okay, some damage here. Just gotta fix it real quick. Not because it might be, you know, compromise the integrity of the building, but because I gotta, you know, screw with the zombies. Everything good here? Yeah, let's just go. Uh, we're gonna go down uh, over here. Okay, so the first thing, there we go. Oh, I, I seem to have already blocked off this area, you know? I didn't remember that. Uh, okay, there's some damage here. Gotta fix this so the stupid zombies don't mess with us. We're gonna use this. Let me just copy this rotation. Put it there, put it there. Good. Okay, we're not gonna use the shovel. Uh, oh, I forgot to test the, the Molotov thing, you know? When we get up, back up, we're going to like see if it works. This is good, this is good. 
This is busted. I just get it. Come on. Okay. It's important to maintain the structural integrity of this wall. Okay, we're good. So, if we go to the next floor. Just get it. Ah, good. This one is blocked. Let's go to the next one. I didn't like the shape of that thing. Okay, so oh yeah, you, it was just uh, you know a little bit closed, but not blocked. So um, uh, how do I get down without breaking my leg? You know, that is the the main question at this point. Because let me see the next floor. Yeah, I completely blocked this off, and you know what? Screw it. Um. Here looks good. I'm just gonna plant this. I'm gonna mess with the zombies. This area is no longer, you know, you can no longer access this. Uh, like from floor to floor. We might even yeah, like do this, you know. So we we add additional, you know, protection against the zombies. This one. This one. And I would like to get the mechanical electrical parts for this thing. There we go. So you see, we just place this in order to make this wall over here stronger. Yeah, you see? That's good. Uh, let's just go one floor up. Yeah, this is the other thing we're going to seal, effectively seal off. Okay, so how do I do this? Um, we start here. You see? Uh, this thing appears to be rather... So it's not that strong. I thought it would be stronger. Okay, we're gonna just open this. I mean, destroy this will be able to seal this off. You know, so this this uh, entire elevator shaft is going to be just one massive uh, one massive concrete block. There we go. As you can see, we're just sealing everything here. That way we're going to effectively mess with the zombies uh, algorithm for finding a path, a suitable path, and, you know, it's going to be, it's just a, you know, a matter of which path is cheaper to take, you know, and the ramp we built is going to be the easiest access, so they're gonna go, and uh, a lot of people have commented that the zombies uh, didn't use the, the original uh, ramp of because there was a few blocks missing, there were a few blocks missing at the top, and uh, when I put the the rebar frames, they they came. So well, that's not true. If you see the first wave, there were no rebar frames, and they just managed to get in quite nicely. So the thing is that the zombies started, you know, congregating on the hospital. So the path was just not very clear because they had to go all the way back to the street and then uh, they had to come back here. So that's why they were not, uh, you know, using the ramp. Or at least that is the theory which we want to test now. You see? They had to go all the way back there. That's why now the ramp starts here. So it should be a really simple path for them to follow here. And I know now the zombies are supposed to be able to jump a certain gap. So you see we got a three blocks gap and if this proves to be too much for the zombies, we're going to place like another block, you know. But there should be no problem for this. Oh. And where are these guys like dropping their Whoa! Way over there. 
you know what? You know what? I, I, I can take the challenge. Let me just put this here. We're gonna quickly do an emergency... Uh, emergency takeoff. Okay, good. There it is. It's not as far, but it is in this wasteland area over here. But we have visual on the airdrop. So we are going for it. You know, airdrops are a good thing. Yes, they are. They are vital to our survival. And you are constantly missing them because you are playing with the zombies or too distracted with some stupid thing, you procrastinating monster. The, the, shut up, Gladys. Sometimes there is just no time to go after the airdrop, you know? There's, there's more important things to do. I am aware of the know the relevance of these provisions that they are dropping you know? and uh, the guys from accounting constantly remind me that this is just basically free supplies and if I don't get it you know that that it messes up with their free cash flow or something like that I I'm not an accountant you know so, uh, okay here we are look at all this good stuff Nice, we got even a rocket launcher and some ammo for said rocket launcher. Okay, yeah, this was a good a good drop. Okay. It was a good idea to just take the opportunity to come here and you know shoot this zombie right there. Come on. Oh come on. Why do I hear it? Walter! Shut you in the face, bruh! Why do I hear someone like tippy tapping around here? Hey zombie! You dead? Oh this zombie over here is not dead. What happens if one of these zombies goes into the water? I'm interested in seeing this. Are you still burning? Is this underwater fire? It appears to be. Okay, we will not have underwater fire. That is an abomination. Okay, where's my thing? Oh, it's over here. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Careful, careful. Okay, we gained altitude, now we're going. <sighs> Wasteland. I have a feeling that this is not raining as much, you know. I kind of liked that, uh, you know, in the town to the north of what we have our, our main facility, Parish Town, I think it is, it, uh, it was usually raining. I kind of like that. But over here it doesn't really rain. I need to find a place that's like rainy or stormy. That's the kind of weather I like. Oh, over here says SOS. You see? In that house over there. I wonder what happens if I do this. And here, and just drop this. Ha ha ha! That was pretty cool, you know? We drop it on the. Oh crap! Oh crap! Easy, easy. We almost did the stupid thing. <laughs> that was pretty cool. We dropped the Molotov from the from the gyro. I kind of like that. If uh, if this doesn't work, we might we might attempt that technique. You know, if if the ramp here doesn't work, we might attempt that technique to the zombies on the ground. Okay, and. Touchdown. Okay. Get in my pocket using, you know, Capsule Corporation technology. Okay, we got a lot of stuff that I need to, like, put over here. So, I'm just gonna drop this, and this, and these things. Uh, and this. I'm gonna take the rocket launcher later. This goes over there. This. And this thing. I guess we are good. Okay. Okay, 
yeah, this is good. Everything here operational. You see? Oh, this ammo was not locked. What the crap? This is locked. This is locked. This is locked. This is locked. Okay, we're good. We're good. And over here, the generator. And uh, refuel this. Turn on. Everything is operational, as you can see. If I flip this switch, those things go out of. Now they are operational again. Okay. Good. So, uh, there's an area we still need to seal off. You know, in the elevator shaft. So, we're gonna do that real quick. Luckily, no zombies around. I know they're somewhere around here, but... You know, they're leaving me be for the time being. Okay, good. So, uh, this thing is good. Uh, oh, yeah. I need to find a way to get... Hmm. You know what might be easier? Instead of trying to do something that will inevitably end with me breaking my leg, Oh, this is uh, oh, this is open. I thought this was closed as well. You see, I, I put some blocks here because some zombies spawned here, so I messed with the with them doing this. Okay, this is good. Okay, let's just upgrade all of this. I'm gonna upgrade this as well. And I'm gonna put some concrete blocks here. Oh crap! These things is are uh, these things are full ceiling. Let me just destroy this one because I don't like how it looks. It's bull crap. Well. Okay, now there. Oh, look at this! False ceilings. Deception, you know. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, so do this. You see, this is the way we do it. Okay, that's good. Something there, there, there. Okay, good. So this is good. And now we come here. And we put, we're gonna use the rebar frames so they try to reinforce concrete directly. Because these ones, they don't, you know. These try to regular concrete. But as you can see, we're going to be able, we're underground, so I'm not worried about the walls. We're gonna be able to have like a solid block of concrete beneath us because my de defensive position is straight up from here. I think I heard some banging. Some zombies might be awake, you know, and wondering what the, all the wreckage is about. They might be thinking like, food, or something like that because you know they're stupid zombies. That's how they sound. Uh, why? Why can I? Can't I put this here? It is kind of weird. Did I place like a like a plate here? I think I put plates. Oh, it's okay. I don't think there's much difference, you know, in durability. Okay, good. Here. As you can see, we are here on the first floor. Yeah, that's that's right over there. Might as well upgrade this one. And this one, and this one, and this one. We are here, you know, above ground level. So, upgrading everything here is not a 
bad idea. Are we okay with the... Yes. We got a lot, a lot of uh, concrete mix. Okay. What time is it? Quarter to four. We still have time. That's a good thing. See, most of my days here, working here at the hospital site, uh, you know, are like this, you know, you get into an area, if there are zombies, you clear, clear them out, then you start building the things. Yeah, I, I kinda, I'm thinking I use plates there as well. We're here at ground level, you see? There, there, there. Now we keep going up. I'm gonna upgrade all of this just in case. Okay. This way the zombies are gonna be faced with an impenetrable you know area. Good. If they you know decide to start randomly destroying everything. We're here. I'm just gonna go ahead and use rebar frames so this dries into reinforced concrete directly. There. Here. Good. And this one over here. And this one. You see? Everything here completely reinforced. Everything every, everybody looks okay here, yeah. Good. Okay, let's just go to the next floor. And as you can see everything here is completely sealed off. We're just gonna quickly upgrade all of this to reinforce concrete. So no stupid zombie has any chance of breaching this. They can, you know, like drop from here and go uh, use the ramp if they the, their pathing algorithm tells them so. But as you can see, everything here is good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this one in case anyone wants to drop down down there and do the thing. Might as well upgrade this. Oh, come on. Upgrade it. Okay, we're gonna destroy this. No time for shenanigans. Okay. Everything has been upgraded here. And this is as high as it goes because the the next two floors are off limits to the stupid zombies. Okay. This is a weird lamp, you know, like the, the green thing, I'm, I'm really not not feeling it. I just got a shirt and some stuff. Okay, are we good here? This is like the area that I made so we can, like... Oh, crap! Look at this! A jackass! Oh, come on, bro, I showed you in the face! Walter! What the crap is wrong with you?! Oh crap. That th this is not appropriate behavior. Come on, bruh. Come on. Are you dead? Why why well I'm not gonna shoot you, okay? Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna shoot you anymore. Jesus. No need to be this, you know, dramatic. The stupid Walter. He appeared out of nowhere, he messed with me. He a jackass. Okay, we got a couple more zombies over here that we might be able to dispose of before, you know, Horde night. Okay, that one is dead. We got this one, like... Come on, bruh! I wanna shoot you in the, in the leg. Does that hurt? Ooh, that had to hurt. Okay. Walter! <sighs> oh. 
Walters all over the place. What is this, a fern? Oh, it's just light. Is there anything here? Okay, who is making all that noise? Hello? I think it's over here in the ER section. Hey, nurse! This jackass! No one? Okay. They're still here so- Holy crap! Sorry, bro. Ooh. I see you over there. You're gone. Okay, anyone else? Yeah, squishy, squishy. Yeah, squishy. Okay, I guess we're good. Okay, what time is it? It's going to be six. We still have a few hours until the horde hits. So, you know, I'm thinking we might as well uh, go to the trader that that's nearby. Yeah. As you can see, my defensive position is right up there. And everything here which is one big chunk of concrete. So this area here is just, you know, massively unstoppable. I actually, you know, should upgrade this to, to steel or something. You want around? No? Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here. Uh, take the gyro. And just, let's go to the trader. Up, up, up. Nice. You see? Ah, uh, come on. We fly dangerously. You know, fly dangerously, but you, uh, I don't know. You, you, we don't crash. Oh, crap! Uh, easy, easy. Gotta go up a little bit. Like a survivor camp over there. I think there was another one like over here. Oh yeah, over there. And then there, the trader is just over that hill over there. The dark science facility is right over there. We're good, we're good. Okay, so... Uh, Mike, are you ready for the horde tonight? Yeah, cast DOT-16. Yeah, I agree. It's rather ominous this time, you know, with the thunder and stuff. We got a house over here. What? Oh, no, this is a trader. Okay. We're going down. We're going down. And... Pull up. Pull up. Nice. Well, it was a bit rough landing, but it's okay. Let's go over here. You know, some a a a magnum ammo would be nice. Hello. Are you gonna purchase something? I'm. I'm just trying. You know, I just got here. You jackass. Uh, bipod, fortifying grip, solar cells, thirteen thousand. What the hell, man? Fort steel. I guess we're good here. A lot of mini bike handlebars, you know. I don't know why. Uh, water cool. I have enough water coolers. Trigger plates. Recog. Uh, what, what do you get with the recog? An illegal narcotic that enhances perception and increased range weapon damage. Ooh, we're gonna buy one of this one. It's legal. Uh. Just hope the police doesn't come and get me. Uh, well, there's probably gonna be some police. Yeah. Uh, okay, you know I'm gonna get the lump of coal. The one thing that I've been unable to get like uh, easily is a lump of coal. Uh, nitrate powder. We well, might as well get it. Large beef ration, potatoes, bottle of acids. Let's see, we're gonna get the bottle of acid. 
Uh, I guess we're good. Forge steel. No, I have four steel. We're making. If there's nothing else, you best be on your way. Okay. Thank you. I guess. You know, not a lot of people skills here. I don't know. I don't think if I, I've been to the the secret area that this guy has. You know. Let me see if there is anything that I can steal from these jackets. Nothing. And mushrooms. Can't pick them up. Got nice. Some ammo. Uh, this is destroyed. Some coal, which is good. Can't get anything. Oh, nice! That was pretty cool. I was going to, running a little low on, uh, on wood, you know. Needed to go and get some. Hey, bruh! Bro, where are you? I know you're somewhere around here. I was stealing some stuff. It was pretty cool. <laughs> okay, enough shenanigans. Let's just go back to the site of the battle of the hospital. Ice. Okay. Okay, here we are. Let's just close this. And now we go. Up, up. Good. Now we're going this direction, heading for the hospital. You know? Yeah, I can hear the thunder. The horde is coming, as you can tell by the fact that the number is now in red. You know, I, I, I don't remember, I have a feeling that in a previous alpha, the number also turned red for the Horde Knight, but I, I'm not sure, but I have the, the, the weirdest feeling that I have seen this, you know, this, uh, whoa, it was like an explosion over there, that I have seen like this, uh, you know, the red, the red numbers. Uh, during the the uh, horde night, pretty sure I've seen this. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check my old videos. I might be imagining things. You know, sometimes it happens. Yes, we all know you are one delusional monster. Shut up, Gladys. It's just sometimes you know people get confused in the zombie apocalypse. It happens. No one's fault. Okay, we landed. Got this thing over here, and you know there. I'm just just gonna have this here. Here, okay. In the gyro, the gyro, we're gonna put it right here, just in case we need to make like an ex an emergency, you know, getaway. We got the the communications array here. Uh, this area provides uh, data links to all zombie research initiative operations in the eastern region of Navis game. And we communicate to the main facility uh, via a microwave link, you see. And uh, also we have access to some of the satellites that are still around. Uh, at some point we are going to be reactivating the Space Z project. You know, the guys from the Space Z project were working on that ship we used to face the first wars. Uh, but uh, we we still need to like send a few rockets up and put some satellites. For now, we're just hacking into some old military and weather satellites that are still, you know, orbiting this area. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be nine soon. We're good. We're good. Okay, so, final preparations. Uh, as you can see, we got a three blocks wide gap. So, I am now taking this away. And I'm wondering how it is that I'm going to go to the other side. Uh, we're just gonna wood frame this. Like over that, and we jump over here, and now we take it, take it. Okay, so, as you can see, three blocks wide gap. And let me just go over 
here and I'm gonna put these things there because I don't need those. I'm gonna put the Molotov cocktail over here and I'm gonna put this here and I'm guessing we are good. We got the recog. I want you gonna drink a little tea. The recog we're going to drink when the horde comes. We also have the Molotovs. As you can see, we can attack the zombies. We're gonna cook them a little bit. And that that's why I built like this ramp here, you know. I can throw the, the Molotov cocktails over there. We're good with the Magnum. Oh clock. Magnum. We're good with this. We got a lot of ammo. Okay. Check over here. Everything looks good. Uh, and I was thinking we're gonna build like a, a small structure here, like a control room for this communications area. You know? Because the zombies might be able to run freely in the first like five floors of the hospital. But this last two floors and the rooftop, they are zombie research initiative property now. This is our facility. I heard someone like jumping. Not sure. We got some lights over there. I think I heard it again. Is there a zombie? Oh. Okay. Uh, good luck, Mike. This is Star Star. See you out. Good luck, Mike. Take care out there. W what about me? I don't know. I don't give a f God damn it. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna stand right over here. Oh, it might work if we activate it, you know? Here we go. Okay, 14 minutes. Everybody get ready. Okay, you turrets, uh, you know, get ready for the epic battle of the hospital. That is what's going to happen right now. Nine minutes. Okay, everybody, you know, loosen up, loosen up. You know, don't don't want to pull muscle or something. Okay, stay frosty, stay frosty. They are coming. Three minutes. They usually come from that direction. Here we go. Okay, come on, zombies. I don't see anyone running. Okay. Anyone? Oh, they're coming. You see? They are coming. They are coming. <laughs> hey, lady. What's up? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. You can, you can shoot down. It's, it's no problem. Come on, bro. Come on. Yeah, do you like it? <laughs> it's working. It's working. Look at them. Look at them zombies coming. Hey! What's up, zombies? Ooh, this is good. This is the good stuff. Oh, there's a Samara even. Oh, she got busted. Oh, we got a lot of dead zombies. We got this guy trying to crawl through the traps. Oh, it has to hurt. It has to hurt. Come on, I got the bonus. I got the bonus. We gotta keep the zombies coming. Oh, there's a fat lady with the ass in the air. Oh, crap. Come on, come on, bruh. Come on, come on. Ooh, I shot you. I shot you. I keep, I keep shooting you. Come on, everybody. Everybody just dance around tonight. Come on, lady. Nice, nice. Good, good. Still no sign of the jackass Walter. I don't know how many, but I'm thinking like 20 or 30 zombie casualties right now, you know? We like to keep them dancing with the turrets. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, shoot it, shoot it! Nice. Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna try something. 
Oh, I'm gonna, I gotta drink this. Nice. Okay, okay. And boom. And boom. Whoa, someone just tried to bypass the trap, you know? Oh, look at the zombies f f on fire! <laughs> this is just awesome. This is just awesome, you see? Whoa, I might as well start, you know, shooting. There's a lot of zombies here. The, the, the turrets are gonna run out of ammo if I don't, if I'm not careful. Come on. There's a cop over there. Come on, come on. There you go. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a little Molotov here action. Yeah, come on. Okay. Oh crap! I just saw a zombie over here. Why is my vision blurry? Is because of that damn thing? Crap! Lady, you're not authorized to come here. Keep shooting, keep shooting, everybody! Bomb is on fire. Okay, everybody. Keep shooting, keep shooting. We're good here, we're good. Shoot the cop, shoot the cop. I saw some more. She's dead. This is working as intended. I am flabbergasted. One of your plans actually worked, you crazy monster. Of course it worked, you know? Because, you know, science model <laughs> Have you ever heard of it? I understand how you think. You know? Oh, my, my vision is all blurry. I'm really just gonna use this. Stupid, stupid, illegal grandpa, I don't know, whatever, is just messing with me. Apparently using the scope negates the effect of that beverage, so that's good. Whoa, we got a lot of zombies. Oh, come on, come on. Don't do it. Uh, no, 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 no. You are not going to do that. You are not going to be able to do this. We are fighting the full force of the zombie. I think I might have... It would be a good idea to get the AK-47 here. You know, because we got a lot of crowd to please. Holy crap! They are getting over here! Come on, go back, go back! Go back! Get away from here, you stupid zombie! Is there no zombie around here? I think this one's trying to get like face through the wall. This one as well. Crap. I keep I keep getting like, the blue revision. Okay, stupid zombies. Okay, that one is dead, I think. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, he's gone. The anti-water turret did the thing, you know? That's good. Okay, I don't know how much ammo these things have. Just to uh, drop a little fire to help the turrets. Okay, everybody just burn. Burn! And just drop one over there. So we'll burn the zombies down. Yeah, good, good. Okay, I see you, I see you. Everybody burn! No, if anything, I need more firepower here. I know it now. We might as well implement a few more turrets, a few more traps, and not use this illegal thing because you know it messes. It messes with my perceptions. Okay, you stupid zombie! Okay, good. 
go over here. I'm gonna use this thing. I'm gonna use one of this. Vision is all blurry. Okay, this one. There we go. Now I got you. Now I got you. Good God. You keep the, the zombies dancing, you know. Okay. Molotov. Molotov time. It's Molotov time. I don't think we got a lot of zombies left, you know. Okay, good. Okay. How long is this thing going to keep my my vision blurred? Hello, bro. Yeah, I shot you in the face, you know. 64 zombies per night. No my difficulty. I don't remember my, you know, my level right now. But we're still rocking this. Uh, let's see, the level is here. Game stage 316. And... I think we level 147. I think we dealt with the, you know, the bulk of. Oh, whoa, look at this! One of the the traps was uh, destroyed. Damn. Okay, good, good. Oof. We still have a little a, a little sound of zombies around, but we have. Yeah, you see, we got some crawlers over there. I'm just gonna take care of them real quick. Okay, they're gone. Okay, we still have a few zombies probably inside the hospital. You know, but the, 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 the bulk of the... Oh, crawling lady. The bulk of the horde appears to have been dealt with. Oh, there's someone running here. I just get a. Haha! Oh! <laughs> Shut you three times, you know? Or you were flying. Okay. Let me see how we're we in terms of ammo. This shotgun turret has 10. This one is empty. This one is empty. This one has 11. This, this reminds me of that scene in Aliens, you know? The aliens were running down the, the corridor, and uh, there were some uh, auto turrets, and uh, you know they they managed to fend off the attack with just like five rounds left or something. There's a guy over there. Oh come on! I keep shooting you in the face, and you know, yeah, she, she died. She's dead. Okay. We might still have a few zombies, like, down there. I don't know who, who is attacking. Hmm. Let's see, do I have a little steel? No, I don't. Uh, maybe over here. Hmm, kind of sham. Oh yeah, I have some steel here, but I don't think it's enough for the repairs. Ugh, blurry vision. Yeah, I know, I know. You know, pro tip, don't use that that thing, the recog or whatever it is. You get all blurry. Okay, there's someone coming. I think one of the turrets is out. Uh, but, you know, I think we can shut this down. Uh, you know what, we're gonna keep it on for now. I just wanna wait. What kind of effects are we under right now? What is this? Disabled by status effect. 
What? Why is it disabled by status effect? Recog side effects. Uh, 52 seconds. Okay. Yeah. Stupid Recog. Yeah, I know we have like a couple of zombies around. Let me see over here. We don't have a lot of ammo. Uh, still have like a, a ammo for the rocket or stuff. Well, the battle of the hospital was a complete uh, success. You know. Uh, be besides a couple of zombies that are down there, you know, the bulk of the horde is gone. Yeah, I know you're somewhere around there. This thing. 70 rounds. That's a good thing. Oh, someone coming. I'm gonna take care of them myself. Okay, Recog is gone. Good. Good, we're back. Okay, now... No, I'm gonna keep this on in case Walter shows up. You know, Walter might have shown up because this thing, oh, or maybe it was when the sh it shot the, the zombies. Okay, some, some damage there. Some damage. Let's see. No, it looks good. Yeah, just fix this real quick. And as I said, we need a little bit more firepower. And, uh, and then we're good. Because at some point, you know, some of these turrets were exhausted. Maybe like a second row of turrets, you know, that we can activate when the first turrets have depleted their ammo. I don't see uh, the zombies right here. They might be just trying to crawl all the way up. Because those, those are crawlers, you know. Uh, spider monkey zombies. Just put this over here. We're gonna go like over here to try and deal with them. You see, this is a jackass. You see, he's just going up and down. Now he might be tempted to use the ramp. Seeing you in the ass, bruh. I saw you. I know you're coming. Okay, come over here. Don't be shy. <laughs> Those probably were your last rounds, weren't they, turret? No, you still have three rounds. That's good. That's good. Three shells, yeah? You can shoot them in the face if you want it. Okay. Um, why is this thing not switching? You see, I'm trying to switch and it's uh Oh crap, there's some sort of malfunction. I cannot, uh, you know, change from the... Oh crap, what what the crap is going on? Uh, maybe now? Oh yeah. Yeah. It was a problem with the... Couldn't switch from my rifle, you know, I forgot to how to like move my hands or something. Uh. Okay. Horde defeated. You know, maximum level horde. All of them dead, like jackasses. Minimum damage to the, to the ramp. They tried to do some damage over here because they are jackasses, you know? You can tell. But over, overall, yeah, successful night. The strategy worked. As I said, you know, so everybody, all of those armchair zombie slayers that said, no, it's not going to work because you're a jackass. It worked. It worked as intended, you know, so shut up. There we go. You see, we understand zombies. This is what we do. There's no one over here. No. And now it's daytime. 
So, you know, in order to even fac facilitate this more, we might like add another ramp here, another ramp here. So the zombies can easily access this and don't, uh, don't do damage. Over here. There we go. Everything looks good. Just gonna check the inside of the hospital for damage. I might as well, you know, upgrade this just in case. That's good. Everything looks good here. Just randomly upgrading. A little bit of damage here. This looks good. Let me see over here. Forgot to upgrade that. I don't know if the zombies use this, but you know, didn't hurt. Everything looks good here. Let's see in this floor. Everything's good. And these are the floors that are accessible. All, all the other floors are sealed off. I don't know why they're damaged here. Might as well just quickly upgrade it. Uh, what is this? Medical supplies! Oh, nice. Haven't seen those. And upgrade this. Good. Nice. Okay. Uh-huh. Everything looks good. Let's just go outside. So... Yep. Successful horror night. Everything worked as intended. The zombies got their asses whooped, but good, you know. Just as I said it would be. And everything down here is good. Nice. You know, because the zombies can only sense the path to their target from a limited radius. So the problem with the ramp, as it originally was designed, is what this was too far away so unless the zombie was already running from this direction which is what happened with the first zombies they wouldn't really know how to get up there but instead since the zombies tend to go right to our defensive position which is right there this was a logical path an easy path for the stupid zombie brains to follow the other thing we're going to do to improve this is like add more traps, like one over here and one over here, you see? And uh, maybe see if we can like squeeze any more traps here. I don't think so because this one is who uses this two, this one uses this, and this one uses this. Now, yeah, we, we cannot squeeze more of these uh, traps here, but maybe down there a few more. So the zombies come here with more damage. And you know, maybe add a couple of turrets right there. So when these are depleted, we engage the ones on top. And that's it. And well, one of these things was destroyed. I don't know if I destroyed it or maybe a cop or whatever. I don't know. We might be able to, uh, you know, review the footage if it's not too, like, blurry from the stupid recog I, I, I ended up taking. Because that thing was not really good, you know. Okay, so shut this down, and let's see the important stuff that we need to bring back. Uh, I'm gonna take this and this thing and that and this and maybe some of this food, which is always good, and these parts and the rocket launcher. I'm gonna take it as well, and the hunting rifle. You know what the hell. Might as well take it, try to sell it or something. Okay, we are good. We survived the battle of the hospital. You know, we whooped some zombie ass in this episode. So, yeah. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Take some
something that you never can give. 